Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, the head witch behind the Hottie Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna be doing a card pull and I really felt called to do this today. So I did go on my Instagram about 15 minutes ago and I put the intention out there that if there's something that you need to hear or if there's something that you need to experience, whether it be now or at some point in the future that it comes to you with perfect timing no matter what the circumstance, no matter what the obstacle. Now, technically it's October 30th at 2.52 Central uh, Chicago time. So that's when I'm filming this. But I, again, I'm setting the intention that this reading comes to you at the right time, at the right moment, when exactly, with exactly what it is that you need to hear. And how I wanna do this is I'm going to take some time to shuffle the cards and to connect with my guides and my angels and, and ask them for their advice and ask them for their counsel and also to go out and to bring in those that need to hear this message. So if you are watching this video, it's most likely because you were guided to. I don't believe in coincidences. I think that everything happens for a reason. And whether you decide on this day, whatever day it is that you're gonna pick number the number two pile or the number three pile or the number one or all of the above because you have that option too that whatever message it is hits you at the right time at the right moment in your life and feel free to save this video if your heart is um, feels guided to so that in the future you can return and revisit this and pick another card but also keep in mind that there are going to be plenty more other videos that I'll be filming with the tarot pulls so I invite you to, to subscribe and to turn your notifications on so that you can be a part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe, at least in, on the YouTube platform. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and power down my camera. I'm gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes to meditate and get myself ready and to get myself right and also to channel any messages. And then I'm gonna come back and allow you guys to pull the card that you, um, pull the card that, is that you're gravitating towards and to sit with that and to think about your question, to write your question down, and then I'll share what it is with you that I see and that I feel that's coming to me intuitively, okay? So I'll be back in just a second and we'll talk very soon. So I took some time out to meditate and there are some cards that jumped out. I did look at them because I wanted to reflect on them and to see what other um, images and messages would come through, which they did. I also wanted to do a guided meditation, but for those of you guys who are have been with me for a while, you know that currently I'm living in New Orleans, and during this time, it just happens to be really loud out on the street. I'm in the French Quarter, so businesses are unpacking things, and it's just kind of loud today, so we can't do a guided meditation, but hopefully in the future we'll be able to. But what I am gonna do is I'm going to show you guys the, uh, the cards that it is that I pulled, and during that time, what I want is for you to sit with your legs uncrossed and to take a few deep breaths and to pause the video right as the cards show up. And before you make a reaction, I want you to sit and connect with yourself and to ask your guides, the higher powers and your angels to guide you, to help you to pick the cards that you need to hear at this moment in your life. And that whatever message it is that it brings some type of awareness to your current situation, your current circumstance. So I don't wanna to go too deep into that, but I will take a moment now so you can see the cards and then we'll go ahead and dive in. There are three card groups that you can choose from, one, two, and three. There's a reason why I'm doing that number, but I'm not gonna speak it today. So keep in mind that there's a reason for that, there's intention behind that. And there's no such thing as a mistake. If you feel like you were drawn to pick more than one or all three, then feel free to listen to all of that, all of those messages. At the end of the day, there are no rules to it. The only real rule is to just stay open and to follow your intuition above all, and you can make no mistake, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this so you can go ahead and see it, and then we'll dive in. All right, my loves, so we're ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with card group number one. Now the cards that are pulled for that are the lovers, 
Let's see if I can get it to focus. The Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. The Lovers, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so the first thing that's coming to me when I'm looking at the Lovers, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords together, as well as my intuition, is it almost feels like there's, outside of the fact that there's so many things that are in flux right now, and there's, as with responsibilities and commitments and expectations and things that are required of you and things that you need to do and things that you do want to do and things that you don't want to do, whether you're being creative, whether it's your work, whether it's your relationship, whatever the case is, it almost seems like there needs to be an, an, an energy, a moment that you create where you decide what is most important to you. And that's not to say that Let's say you have three different things that, or five different things, or six different things that you're really gifted at. Not all of these things need to be first and a priority and need to have your attention right here in the now. And what I almost see is you actually going into a cave or you kind of withdrawing and pulling back and deciding and feeling it out, like honestly feeling it out and seeing what is the utmost priority? What is it that you need to take care of right now? And that's the thing that needs to be your core focus. That needs to be the center of your priority and your attention. Now, there are certain things that if you take your hands off of them, that they're gonna be able to take care of themselves. What I see is you not needing to feel like you need to be a part of everything, even if you can do it. Just because you can do it doesn't mean that you should do it. And that's something that I even learned within my business, that there's some things that I need to ask other people to do, that way I can give all of my attention, all of my energy, all of my resources and my gifts to funnel it into one space so that that one thing, whether it be a person or a client or my intention oils or my magic or even quality time for myself, that that can get 100% of me. At the same time, it almost seems like there are certain things that you need to cut and cut and release. I almost see someone fishing, right? And you throw your, your cast out there, you throw your line out there and you start putting, pulling in all those fish. And there could be good fish in the batch, there could be bad fish in the batch, meaning like things that you can eat, things that are toxic, things that are sick and ill. Those things need to be cut and released because they do not serve you. And what you need to do at that point is listen to your intuition because there's some times where you're just like, you know what, there's something about this that just doesn't feel right. And then there's other things that you can look at it from a logical perspective and be like, this does not need to be in our basket because it's sick. It's gonna make all the other fish get infected. It's gonna make all the other, all the other things that we have here. That toxicity is gonna bleed off into it and it doesn't need to be a part of that batch. Now, at the same time as I'm saying this, I almost feel my, my sacral chakra, my heart chakra, all of those things are really feeling bound up. They really feel emotional. It almost seems like there's an emotional release or an emotional connection. And as I'm saying this, I am wanting to tell you that I can understand that it's not easy for you to let go of certain things or for you to say to someone or say something that you are not a priority or you don't get a place in my life anymore or for you to let go of it, for you even to tell yourself that. Because a lot of it is you in, intuitively listening to your intuition, but then once you hear that message, you then have to do something with it. You then become responsible. So that, that feeling that comes with it, of that dread, of that remorse, of that sadness, that is very real because something is being released and it's transforming and it's transformative, but there's heartache and disappointment and frustration and fear that can come with that or insecurity or doubt or whatever it is, fill in the blank. But either way, what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling within my body is actually like emotion that I don't know if it's been blocked or if it's been sitting there or stagnant or emotion that needs to be released, it needs to be expressed, that needs to be expelled. And during this process, you know, it's so easy for us to say, you know, make a choice, make a decision. But really, it's, it's hard, it's hard, and it can be emotionally draining, it can be emotionally triggering. So what I wanna do is to remind you of how important it is that even if you are a person of light and love and it's easy and effortless for you to give to your friends and give to your family or give to your business or give to your clients or whoever, or give to the community, that it's very important that as a being of light, that even those light bearers have to go into a cave, a cocoon, an egg in a lot of ways and focus on themselves before they start giving so much of themselves to other people or as they're making decisions for their betterment. 
in this moment, in this life. And you have to take some moments because life, especially as a sensitive, as an empath, empath, even if you're not normally a sensitive, which I feel like so many of you guys are, especially if you're pulling this card right now, these cards, I see you being in a very sensitive space right now, whether you realize it or whether you don't. And what I'm seeing is there's a need to kind of pull back to give you a moment to really think about and prioritize what is important to you, what you need and what you have to do and what again, what is important to you and what you have to take your hands off of. Now, it doesn't mean that if you're taking your hands off of it that whatever that thing is is going to die, but what you're doing is you're making it strong so that it can support itself so that it doesn't need you to constantly be tending to it. It's almost like a mother who's constantly have her hands on her child. Like let your child go so that they can learn to walk, so that they can have independence, so they can live their life. And at the same time, you're proud of them, you're watching them go off and do their thing, but at the same time, it's you're emotional because you're like, that's my baby. And it's hard for me to put my hands off of it. It's hard for me to take my hands off of something that I love. On the same token, this could be something that you believe in that you want to create or you have to let go of in in general maybe that does mean that there is a, a cut that a, something needs to be cut and released now remember i saw three things with the tarot with the tarot cards but also with you i see you you know catching and then holding on to some things that are that are worth it and that you need to have right now in this moment i also see you pulling in the things that may you know, um, you require a little bit of your time and your attention, a little bit of your attending, and you seeing the potential of that and giving your energy to that. And then I also see you taking your hands off of the things that you don't need to be involved with anymore, whether it be toxic, whether it be ill, whether it be dead or dying, whatever it is, and let that shit go because it's not there to serve you, it's not there to serve a purpose. And what I don't want is for you energetically to be jumping around and um, you know, juggling all of these things when your attention, the goodness, the greatness of you should be channeled and focused in this one area of your life, that one area that needs your time and attention right now. Meanwhile, you're giving the other things that actually have the potential and are strong, you're giving them the opportunity and the space to grow without you constantly putting your hands on it and you're not being distracted by these old things that don't serve you point blank period. Um, the other thing that I'm seeing throughout this, and this is not um, signified by the cards at all because we have the Ace of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Lover's card. But what I'm seeing is entering into a space, number ones, I'm, enter I'm seeing you guys entering into a space where the goodness and the love and the light that is within you, it almost reminds me of creativity. And that makes sense that it's connected to the sacral chakra. But what I'm seeing is you going into a space where you're actually allowing yourself to have fun, to have joy, to have laughter and pleasure with no strings attached meaning that you don't have any heavy expectations on it. The, the sole purpose of you enjoying whatever this is, is for you to enjoy the moment. And it has to be something that is serving you. It's not that you, you know, indulge in it and it makes you feel bad later. It has to be something that serves you. And I see this almost as creativity, love, children, play, laughter, joy. And I think that what's going to happen is that's going to make you making this decision, it's going to help you to make that decision clearer and more obvious and precise versus you kind of wondering and, you know, it almost has to come from a space of creativity and pleasure and joy because I think that that's an area of your life that is certainly lacking at least right now. Um, the other thing that I can see is that the environment around you might be a little toxic, it might be a little negative, it might be a little abrasive. So this is another reason why it's very important for you to kind of pull back again and to take some time for yourself, but don't stay in this darkened space for too long of healing because the world needs to see your laughter again, the world needs to see your light because you do have something to give back. So that's what I got for my number ones, and I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment and focus on my number twos. Okay, so this is for my number twos, and I did, again, take some time to think about, not to think, but to channel your message. And it's so funny, because this reminds me of a ritual that I did last night, and while I was doing this ritual, the candlelight that I was looking at came really, really tall and still, and in the middle was a shadow figure. And at first I was like, okay, like not nervous with it, but I'm like, all right, who are you? What is this? And I was prepared for the worst and also the best at the same time because I didn't know what to expect. But the, per the, the message that, of this person was something that was on the horizon of something that was coming into my life and it was kind of visually manifesting itself. 
and I'm almost getting that vision now for my number twos and it's I can't tell if it's a physical person or if it's an actual image of an angel like an actual angel like Archangel Gabriel or Archangel Michael who is making himself clear and apparent and present to you and has appeared before you with a message and at the same time it's almost like my number twos, like the people who pulled number two are looking at this and they're just like not interested or they are doubting it. I, even as I say that, I'm getting chills because it feels like what you're looking for is right in your face, but you may, may or may not necessarily be open and ready or accepting of it for whatever reason maybe you're doubting that you're this call to your next destiny that maybe this call to the next level is not something that you believe in for yourself or you don't think that you have what it takes or you don't think that it would happen for you now in this moment but either way there's something that has presented itself to you that you may have hesitancy and resistance towards now that was the image that i got of this angel coming through as i was focusing on you guys and then i flip the cards over and then i see the four of cups hold on let's see if it'll focus i see the four of cups and the world card and then i was like all right that makes sense so i'm right on target i'm right on track with this but ultimately what i'm seeing is there's some type of blessing in the form of a person, a place, an opportunity, an idea, um, a moment, a suggestion, a voice, an angel, healing that has presented itself to you in some form. And our brains sometimes want to reason, re reason with it or lo use our logic to understand it and we keep questioning it for whatever reason, whether we doubt that it's true, whether we doubt that this is actually happening or we doubt that this is real or we doubt that you know whatever it is or we don't think that we can do it or whatever it is or maybe this blessing that's coming in you're not seeing it for a blessing you're looking at it as okay I'm not interested in this at all point blank period but again this isn't something that is logically going to make sense to you it's something that you really have to stay open towards and that's one thing that I'm looking at too with the world card it's this energy of we are completing the cycle. There's something that the path that you have taken up until this point has brought you to this moment. And now that you're at this point in your life, there is something here, a little golden treasure that you have to look at it for what it is and it may not make sense to you. But at the same time, really take a breath and say yes to this blessing. Say yes to this person and try it out without putting too much heaviness and expectation in on it because again, this is the sky's the limit. We don't know where this is going to take us. We don't know what this is going to do for you. We don't know what's gonna grow from this. But it's not for you to understand the future, but this is a part of your experience now. So what I want you to do, number twos, is to bless this, this, this energy of everything that is coming through. Sorry guys, my camera died as it usually does as I'm doing these type of readings because energy is so high sometimes. But what I want you guys to do, number two, is to really sit with this for a moment and look at the blessing for, like, keep an open mind, keep an open perspective to it without putting too much heavy heat um, on what you can expect or what you think is going to happen or what you want to happen. Just take it and say to the universe, thank you for thinking about me. Thank you for bringing this into my life. What do you want me to do with this? I'm open. I'm listening. Tell me what you want. What is this? Why is this here? And anything that is coming in at this point and anything that ever was say thank you for what has happened to, in order for it to bring you here even if it doesn't make sense to you and then ask for the path ahead of you to be something that is blessed that is something that is going to give to you that is going to help you to thrive that's going to make you prosper ask for signs but don't they, don't stay in a space where you're receiving these signs but you're not acknowledging them or you keep on saying yeah, that might have been a sign, but send me another one. And you spend five years asking for the same same sign that the universe is constantly trying to give you and you're not making any action on it. So what I am seeing is this cycle of, again, these steps that have taken you to this point right here, right now. And again, you know, who knows what's going to happen, but there is something new that is opening opening up for here, up here for you, but you're not going to understand it. It's not going to make sense to you in this moment. It, again, it's this presence, it's this person, it's this opportunity that you may question, but it's still very much there and it's acting as a blessing. It's, again, it's almost like the Archangel Michael or Archangel Gabriel, whoever, the messenger of the gods, 
whoever it is, whether it be a spirit, an ancestor, whoever, has come through and made themselves presently known while I'm doing your reading, and it's just like, look, this person may not realize you know, what this is or what this is in front of them, they may automatically say no, remind them that not everything logically makes sense and that there is a new door that has opened here that is a direct result of all that has happened. And sometimes this is us, you know, wanting more for ourselves, but the universe gives us kind of less than what it is that we think that we deserve or not what it was that we were expecting, but it's still kind of cool. But again, it's like, you know, going into your heart and your space and kind of deciding. And then also look at the areas of your life that simply are not interesting and are worn out and you're just not happy and satisfied with and let them go so that you can go off. And again, it may not seem like a blessing, but this new environment, this new person, this new energy is that's coming in is more than what it is that you're leaving. And you'll know what it is because as you're sitting here, you're like, I've been so bored that this area of my life has been so stagnant. I'm not happy with this. I wanted more excitement. I wanted more adventure. I wanted more fun. I wanted more joy, more pleasure, more love, more abundance, more thriving. I want to actually do what it is that I love. So if you have this area of your life that's stagnant and still and not moving, then again, this is you kind of closing that cycle and realize, thanking the universe for bringing you up to this point, but now we wanna take this to the next level and anything that's not serving us, set the intention. Like it's, the power is literally in your hands where you need to bless your own space. You need to bless your own life and speak a blessing over it, speak life into it so that it can grow and be prosperous and grow into the next level. So that's what I get for my number twos. And if you're wondering what cards you picked, it was the Four of Cups again and the world card. I'm going to go ahead and take another moment to meditate and move on to the next group because we have a lot of cards and a lot of energy going. I don't know if you feel it, but I do. Okay, my loves. So this is the last and final of the card group, and this is number three. And this is crazy to me because as I'm looking at these cards, the biggest thing that I feel is excitement and it's like... <laughs> so that's a really um a really good feeling whether it is that you are feeling it hold on whether you're feeling it right now or not this is kind of all right mr man you're excited too whether you feel it or not or whether you acknowledge it or not there is a building excitement and this new something that is really ready to crack open in your life in fact the sounds that i felt the sounds that i hear that i heard and the way that i felt really reminded me of what it's like to be in New Orleans and you hear that one blast of the trumpet and the trombone and the drums and you're like, wow, okay, a parade is coming. You know, you guys grab your beads, grab your, you know, your flip-flop, put your flip-flops on and everyone goes slapping over to the street so that we can watch this parade and they're celebrating marriage or they're celebrating life or they're celebrating death and this person's life. Um, and that's ultimately what it is that I'm seeing with these two cards that I've pulled up. Have you seen it too, Franklin? Yes. There's so much excitement that's coming through this. And the two cards that were pulled for you guys are the Ace of Cups and the Judgment card. But those are very important, but I'm also seeing the color red and orange and yellow as I was visualizing this. And really what it is, is almost like a celebration. I'm seeing lots of energy, lots of excitement, lots of budding like brewing creativity, expression. It's very loud, it's very um, outrageous. It almost reminds me of Leo and Sagittarius energy, which is very like in your face, bold, flashing lights. And it's there to build the excitement. It's there to build joy and pleasure. And really, I ult that's ultimately what it is that I'm seeing here is that at this point in your life, the opportunity here is infinite, it's endless. And I love the fact that the Ace of Cups and the Judgment card are here. Now, granted, for most of you guys, we're, we've been going through so much when it comes to astrology and you know, with the cosmos and the planets. We've been going through so much with transformation, with you know, things getting released and us getting rubbed in ways that makes us uncomfortable. And then we learn so much about ourselves and we're pushed into these new spaces where we are uncomfortable and we have to expect more. We have to do things differently in order to receive something that we've never had before. So I understand that there's some parts of this that may make you feel uncomfortable or some parts that of you that are like maybe exhausted, but sometimes when you hear that celebration, it's almost like the universe saying, look, we know that we've, you've been through it, but we want you to take a moment to get out to and, and express yourself. And that's the thing about the judgment card. It's almost like the things, the intention 
all of the energy of what has happened before this moment now is all coming together, it all culminates. And if you have done the most, if you have been good, if you have been a beacon of light, if you have been setting intention, if you've been trying, what I see is this celebration and this joy. This is something is being born into your life. Something is being creative. This is new love. This is new birth, new beginnings, new children, having babies, falling in love, getting creatively inspired. And it all comes from a space of creation. It's interesting to me that I am seeing the energy of babies and something being born and I'm seeing all of this red because something has to, it's, it reminds me of, you know, um, when a woman does go through the, the, you know, the labor pains and she's, you know, her water breaks and there's blood and, you know, outside of like, well, you guys know the deal. I don't want to go, you know, too X-rated because my video is going to get flagged. But there's so much blood that is lost. And think about every year a woman loses her blood. I'm sorry, every month a woman loses her blood for with her cycle because her body is, is designed to give birth. And that's a part of that sacrifice, that pain that we feel every month is a part of the cycle because our bodies can give birth. And that's ultimately what it is that I'm seeing with this red is it's like a sacrifice that is being made in order to create, in order to create. And that creation brings joy and brings pleasure. So if you are not seeing this in your life, Ultimately, what I'm going to ask you to do is sit back and to set intention for the joy, the pleasure, the abundance of what needs to come into your life now because of the sacrifices that you have made. Even if you didn't ask for those sacrifices, even if you didn't ask for that pain and that suffering, the reality is, is that it did happen. It did happen. And there was blood that was lost. There were tears that were shed. You know what I mean? So now that you have done all that, now that all of that has happened, let's go ahead and invite into your life play, joy, pleasure, creation, creativity, and something being born. Now, I am watching that the majority of the cards have some connection to creation and trust and getting back out there and laughter. So, and it makes a lot of sense because at the time of me filming this, so much of the energy is very intense right now that it's difficult for us to forget our joy and for, forget you know, what it feels like to laugh. And especially in our environment today's times, everything is so intense, everything is very heated. But again, the cards are suggesting let's go back into a space where it's a positive emotion, it's emotional release, laughter and crying are both very equally healing. So if you have cried, make sure you're laughing. If you have laughed, if you have laughter, it's okay to cry. It's Sometimes it's good to laugh so hard that you cry. Sometimes you cry so hard that you end up laughing. So these are things that I'm seeing here that I'm kind of swirling. And um, again, you know, if you're seeing this new abundance, this new life, this new seed that's getting planted and, you know, something is being born into your life, again, this is a culmination of all that has happened. And if you are in a space right now where you are welcoming this energy in, again, this is new love, this is new beginnings, new life, getting yourself into new territory, listening to the call of the universe, listening to the call of the stars, kind of aspecting themselves and putting you at the right place at the t right time for transformation to happen in your life almost miraculously. Because like I, get, like I said before, even giving birth, that in itself is a miracle, even though it happens all the time, but it's, you're creating life, essentially. And uh, yeah, so that's what it is that I'm seeing for all of the cards. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for participating. I'm interested in hearing, you know, what cards you pulled and how this applied to your life. And also, I want to invite you to share this video or maybe give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Share it on Facebook, share it on your Instagram. If you're watching it, feel free to go ahead and take a screenshot of me, which is Sometimes, just make sure it's a good screenshot because I can't tell you how many times people have zoomed into my eyes and I can just see my one big eye and I'm like, thanks. <laughs> but anyways, um, you have no idea that if, if you really like this video and you love seeing it, you know, a thumbs up really does make a difference. Subscribing, commenting, and engaging makes a huge difference and that's the biggest way to thank me um, for making this video if that's something that you want to do. Um, and then also another incredible way to, to share this and for to help me out is to share it with your, your own tribe on Facebook or your own Facebook groups or whoever your friends and your family. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video and I'll talk soon. Bye.